Hey everybody, what's going on? So I'm sure uh, we all heard the news uh, yesterday that Joe Biden has officially dropped out of the presidential race. Uh, he's still going to remain the president until January. He's going to finish his term, but he will not be running for re-election. So that just you know, kind of brings up the question automatically. It's like, well, who's it going to be? And there's a lot of rumors. I personally predicted <clears throat> over a year ago that it would be uh, Gavin Newsom. However, with all the donation money and because they've waited so long to replace Biden it kind of seems like they'd have to go with Kamala Harris, right? She's got all the money and no one else can use it except Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's not running. So it's like it almost has to be Kamala Harris. However, as we all know, the DNC has very, uh, let's just say, interesting ways of handling things. And um, it wouldn't be very surprising to me if someone said, hey, listen, Kamala, we know you want the job. We don't think you can beat Trump. So we're going to ask you to go away. And if she puts up any kind of fight about it, they're just going to, you know, take away any offer. Like, they'll offer her some money in a, you know, a waiting spot or, like, a, a, a line, a, a spot in the line wait, in, waiting for a, a, um, a an opening in the Supreme Court. But if that's not enough, she says, no, I want to be president. Then You know they've got some sort of dirt on her. They're, they'll release it. They'll make her go away if they need to. However, that, the question then comes up is, okay, so if someone else comes in, how are they going to be able to you know, uh, create, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? How are they, they going to raise a bunch of funds in order to campaign, especially when they only have a few months? Not to mention they got again, they got to get ready for a debate, which I still think is scheduled. It's not going to be Joe Biden anymore, but I think they are still having a debate between the Republicans and the Democrats on September 10th. But it's just kind of, you know, it feels like they don't want Kamala Harris to be the one to do it. If that's the case... I mean, can they even plug in Gavin Newsom? Do they have enough time? Does he have enough time to raise money? Well, then Sunday night, I believe it was, there was a lot of rumors coming out saying, hey, it's going to be Hillary Clinton. We all know she's got tons of donation money stashed away. She's, her and her husband are filthy rich. They wouldn't even need that much help. And surely they would get some new donations from, whether it be some pharmaceutical company or whoever it might be, some military contractor. So it, it, it would seem, though, as though like Hillary Clinton... <clears throat> might be their best choice, if you even want to say it like that, because, I mean, I don't think she can beat Trump either. I don't think the Democrats have a legitimate chance of actually beating Trump or even really keeping it close. So that being said, it's like, okay, it's probably not going to be Gavin now. It's probably not going to be Hillary. Maybe they will just go with Kamala Harris. Maybe they do think that she has the best chance and you know, maybe they think that she can swing back some of the female voters that have gone to Trump. I mean, I don't I don't know exactly what they're thinking, but it seems as if, as of right now, and this could change momentarily, of course, but it really does seem like Kamala Harris is going to be the nominee for the Democratic National Convention, or she'll be named at the Democratic Na uh, National Convention in August, which I believe is in Chicago, so... I mean, if that's the case, if she's going to go head to head with Trump, especially in a debate, I mean, that's going to be hilarious. There's all, all these liberals who are excited about Kamala Harris. I mean, you really shouldn't be. They're like, what does she do? She just cackles every five minutes. She said, oh, I, I'm going to go down to the border. And then it was like months and months. It wasn't like a year even before she finally went down to the border to check it out. She's not intelligent. When she ran in 2020... Or was, was it? Yeah, it was 2020, I believe it was. She she ran as president as well, and she finished in like seventh place among Democrats. She didn't even get a single delegate. So she's not even that popular, right? So I'm not really sure what they're going to do now. I mean, hey, they had Robert Kennedy, but they decided to push him out of the party. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Because if it was all about beating Trump, you've got the guy to do it, but now you've lost him. So... I mean, I mean, the Democrats are in a very interesting predicament. I mean, is Donald Trump even going to make it to the to the election? I mean, let's be honest. There was an attempt on his life. Will there be Will there be another one? A lot of people seem to think so, and I get why. But as of now, it looks like it's going to be Kamala versus Donald. And what is an embarrassing matchup for all of America? But hey, I mean, some people will be happy about it. Some people won't. But I digress. I mean, I just want to know uh, what you guys think about that. Do you think it's going to be Kamala or do you think it's going to be Gavin or Hillary? Who else? Or when I, you know, whether it's Michelle Obama or any wild card you can think of, who do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking. 
Thanks again so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with another video.